common mistake number six when investing in a forklift is not understanding that the forklift is actually an extension of your business image, right? So picture this. When a customer comes to your business, if the business is clean, neat and tidy, that gives them a sense of, um, I, I guess you'd say comfort, knowing that when they're dealing with you, you run a neat, clean and tidy business. If they come to your business and everything's just a beat up um, um, mess, you've got a forklift that just blows smoke and missing a muffler, et cetera, et cetera, right? It sort of reflects on what you might actually be doing, okay? Let alone the whole reliability side of things, let alone um, um, tax deductions, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you really wanna consider a forklift and extension of your business. So when you've got a nice, new, well looked after, clean forklift, when customers come, it actually allows you to charge a premium price for what you're doing because you're presenting a premium image. Just think about this, right? Have you ever got a tradesman or something come to you to property you might say have had a concreter come, okay, and you want to do some concrete in the house. You have one guy roll up a pair of thongs and he's got his um, um, t-shirt on and he, he gives you a low price and the other guy comes in and he's got a nice vehicle, he's all well presented and so on and so forth. Nothing about concrete. If you're a concreter, buy the forklift, okay, don't, don't get offended, right? But um, it's just an example, could be any trade, right? But what would happen is the next person comes and they're neat and tidy, they're professional. You feel much more confident that person doing the job because you feel that they're gonna do the job properly. No different when you're investing in, in a um, forklift for your business. You wanna make sure that the forklift that you're actually investing in is actually something that's going to be um, an extension of your business, make your business look neat and tidy. So that's it, it, um, common mistake number six, not considering the forklift as an extension of your business.